Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, today's show is going to be a quick one and it's geared specifically for those of you that have already purchased the new Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Samsung has already started rolling out the first update for the watch and it involves the use of the virtual rotating bezel as well as a couple other minor improvements for GPX tracking and battery accuracy in watch faces and which I will mention again a little further on in the review. And I mentioned the virtual bezel in my review for the Active 2 that I released yesterday, so if you missed that one, then click on the link above. But one of the main new features of the Active 2 is this hybrid-like bezel, which is built into the display so that it mimics the feeling of a mechanical bezel by having a vibrational click when you scroll across the various menus and apps. Now by default, this feature was actually disabled out of the box, which meant it effectively had the same navigational functionality as the original Active Watch, meaning it was based solely on swiping the touch display. This new update that's being rolled out will automatically activate the virtual touch bezel for those of you that have not manually done so already, and the users of the 44 millimeter versions in the US will receive the update first, followed by the 40 millimeter variations shortly after that. Now, if you have not received a notification to automatically update your watch, then don't sweat it because I'm going to show you how you can see if you have an update waiting. And even if you don't have one that's pending, there are two ways that you can activate this virtual bezel for yourself. First though, you can check to see if you have an update pending by opening your Galaxy wearable app, then tapping on the home button there at the bottom, and then scrolling down and tapping on the watch software update option. From here, you can select download and install. And if there is a new update available, then this is where it's going to notify you. Now, if you did not receive a notification to update, such as myself in this case, then you can always turn on the virtual bezel yourself, which can be done within the same Galaxy wearable app or on the watch itself. If you do want to do it within the app, then all you need to do is to go back to the home screen, you scroll down and click on the advanced option, and then from here, tap on the touch bezel slider to activate it. And another way to activate this feature, if you don't happen to have your phone next to you, or perhaps it ran out of battery life and it's just not accessible, is that you can also enable the feature on your watch by going to your settings, scrolling down and tapping on the advanced menu option, and then turning on the touch bezel option. All right, and as far as the other two minor updates go, well, one is gonna be to improve the GPS performance and tracking capability, and the other update is gonna be geared towards improving the accuracy of the battery level indicator, which most developers usually include as a feature on watch faces. All right, guys, that's just a quick recap of this new update that has just started rolling out for the users of the Watch Active 2 and how you can manually enable this for yourself. And as I said in the beginning, this update just started rolling out to US customers, but it will be expanded to other regions shortly, which based on the timeline of previous Samsung updates is usually within the next few weeks. I'll keep you guys posted for future updates and stay tuned as I'll be having further videos on the Watch Active 2 as well as more giveaways for watch faces in the coming days. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.